Hi, my name is Lee Roberts. I'm the supervisor of the town of Bedford, and I'm here today to read Where the Wild Things Are, a story and pictures by Maurice Sendet. I think it's really important that we celebrate books and that people, and as well as children, have access to all kinds of different stories to educate them, to thrill them, to excite them, and to open windows on the world for them. So um, I'm glad to be part of this Celebrate Books Week. So here we go. And I need my glasses to see it, unfortunately. Where the Wild Things Are. The night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind or another, and here he is, making mischief with his fork and dog. His mother called him Wild Thing, and Max said, I'll eat you up. So he was sent to bed without eating anything. That very night in Max's room, a forest grew. And grew. And grew until his ceiling hung with vines and the wall walls became the world all around. And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max and he sailed off through night and day. Boat with his name on it. And in and out of weeks and almost over a year to where the wild things are. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. There they are. Very scary. Till Max said, be still, and tamed them with the magic trick of staring into their yellow eyes without blinking once and they were frightened and called him the most wild thing of all and made him king of all the wild things. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. There they all are. Jumping around, the wild rumpus going on. They're having fun. Up in the trees, hanging out. down on the ground, jumping around with Max the King. Now stop, Max said, and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. Then all around, from far away across the world, he smelled good things to eat. So he gave up being king of where the wild things are. But the wild things cried, Oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up. We love you so. And Max said, No. The wild things roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat and wave goodbye. There he goes. And sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and through a day. And into the night of his very own room where he found his supper waiting for him. And it was still hot. This is a wonderful book. It's one of my favorites. I read it to my own children, and I think it's so endearing that home is where your heart is, no matter what happens. 